So now that uh, we've seen how we uh, uh, get an outbound connection to the internet, let's talk about how we could access other uh, AWS services uh, via our private EC2 instance here. So S3 would be a very common one to utilize. So I'm just gonna go over to S3 here. I'm just gonna type in S3 and open this in a new tab. I'm gonna try to actually um, access some uh, S3 files here, okay? And so I should already have a bucket in here called example 000. Uh, and I do have some images already in here uh, that we should be able to access. And we did get that IAM role uh, permissions uh, to access that stuff there. So the, CL, uh, the AWS CLI should be already pre-installed here. Um, and so we'll just type in AWS um, S3. And it should be, uh, if we wanted to copy a file locally, we'll type in CP. And we're going to need to, actually, we'll just do LS, okay? So we'll do LS here, okay? I don't think we have to go as advanced as uh, copying and doing uh, uh, other stuff here. But you can definitely see that we have um, a way of accessing um, S3 uh, via the CLI. So what would happen if we remove that NAT gateway? Would we still be able to access S3? So let's go find out. All right, and I think you know the answer to this, but let's just do it. Um, and then I'll show you a, a way that you can still access um, uh, S3 without a NAT gateway, all right? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead here and just delete this NAT gateway. It's not like you can just turn them off, so you have to delete them. And uh, we'll just wait till that finishes deleting here. So our NAT gateway has deleted after a few minutes here. Just hit the refresh button here just in case because sometimes it'll say it's deleting when it's already done and you don't want to be uh, waiting around for nothing. So let's go back uh, to our um, EC2 instance here. We'll just clear the screen here. And now the question is, will we be able to access AWS um, S3 uh, via, the, um, uh, via the CLI here, okay? And so I hit enter and I'm waiting, 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 and it's just not gonna complete because it no longer has any way to access S3. So the way um, it works when you're using the CLI through your EC2 instance, it's gonna go out out to the internet, out of the uh, AWS network, and then come back into the AWS network to then access S3. Uh, and so since there is no outbound uh, way of connecting to the internet, there's no way uh, we're gonna be able to connect to S3, okay? So um, it seems a little bit silly because you'd say, well, why wouldn't you just keep uh, the traffic within the AWS network? network because we're already on an EC2 with an AWS network and S3 is with an AWS network. And so uh, that brings us to uh, endpoints, which is actually how we can uh, create a like our own little private tunnel within the AWS network um, so that we don't have to leave uh, out to the internet. So let's go ahead and create an endpoint and see if we can uh, connect to uh, S3 without having an outbound connection. So we're going to proceed to create our VPC endpoint. So on the left hand side, you're going to choose endpoints. Okay. And we're going to create ourselves a new endpoint. Um, and uh, this is where we're going to select it for the service that we want to use. So this is going to be for S3. But just before we do that, I want you to select uh, the VPC that we want this for down below. Uh, and then we're going to need this for S3. So we'll just scroll down here and choose S3. Okay. And we're going to get a bunch of options here. Okay. And um, so we're going to need to uh, configure our route, tra uh, our route table. So we have that connection there and it's going to ask what uh, route table do you want to put it in? And we're going to want to put it in our private one because that's where our private EC2 instance is. And then down below, we will have a policy here. Um, and so this is going to be great. So we will just uh, leave that as is and we're going to hit create endpoint. Okay. So we're going to go back and hit close there. And uh, it looks like our endpoint is uh, available immediately there. And so now we're going to go find out if we actually have access to S3. So back over here, we are in uh, our private EC2 instance, and I'm just going to hit up and see if we now have access. And look at that. So we've created our own uh, private um, connection uh, to S3 without leaving the uh, AWS network. Cool. 